Forget me, money don't make me lose my memory. A2 anti do, man, badly do that. Then I treat every month like a January. Uh, they think they got one up on us. I don't trust. Not on my doors, this summer can trust. Won't even lie, I got PTSD nearly. My finger, they ran up on us. I left home when I was 14. YJ was 10 and a man of the house. We to take the lead against the three-pointer to fall. Parker's got 31. Hey, it's not just about scoring for Parker when he dominates. He gets his teammates involved, too. Pass to our test. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. Timeout call. The storm. And a wise move to call timeout there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover number. So for the storm, Anderson Verajau checked in for Henderson. Wade comes in for Lamar Odom. And Gilbert Arena subbed in for Parker. Then for the Mavericks, Haywood comes in for Boris Dia. And it's Johnson in for Ron Artest. I now let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to listen to Virginia Beach's head coach talk to his team. He asked his team to dig deep. He said, I know you're tired, but they're tired too. It's about who can give more than the other guy at this point. Show me what you can give. Back to you. Thank you, David. And here is Anthony after LeBron James hitting the three. Six to shoot. The three. That's it. And the Virginia lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Carmelo Anthony. Well, Anthony is just this competitive. He wants everyone to know what he can do. Wade has the open look. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got his eighth assist in the game. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here is McGrady. They get it back. Dallas moving it around on the wing, Johnson. Pass to Anthony. To the middle. Here's Haywood. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Yeah, lurking around down there and at seven feet tall. Paid off for Haywood. Right side, Arenas. And again, it's Virginia. Oh, he is just so clutch. Saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. That's a floater go. Rebound by Anderson Verisha. Virginia leading by four. And it's Wade in the corner. It's rebounded by Dallas. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Here's Johnson, and then Johnson with the jam. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And, you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Storm will retain possession. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter. Lock at six. Wade can't hit. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. To tie it up. Arenas with the defensive effort. And for Virginia, they're shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting it. A lights-out competitor in the clutch. Arenas knows his team expects him to come through. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the storm. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance. And the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. Boy, they showed no hesitation on the mid-range game as well. I thought that was really a big key for them. Johnson with a screen on Reed. McGrady against Wade. 
Here's Johnson. Haywood, the pass to Johnson. Now, here is McGrady. Wade is covering. McGrady against Wade. Haywood with a screen on Wade. Here's McGrady. Haywood. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. And this is indeed Agent Zero's time. When it's a tight game, he really turns up. Dallas calls timeout. They trail by four. 40 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Johnson, the dish to Anthony. McGrady up top. Wade is covered. They grab their own miss. The wide open look here for Anthony. Got it! And he has brought them to within two points. This is what happens when you allow Carmelo Anthony to heat up. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Arenas with it. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Five to shoot. Releases. Good! Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. And the Mavericks call time here. They're trailing by four. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Yeah, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. McGrady kicks to Anthony. But three, no good. So we see Virginia get the win here. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. That concludes game two of the NBA Finals. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later. Throw the home bag at me. Oh, yeah, I know I got power.